Hi ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bearer, back again. And today we got another under uh, under <laughs> undercover undercover report from our agent Deep Freight. Yeah, unfortunately Deep Freight's not quite on his game like he normally is. And we got some uh, grassy knoll quality photos here. Yep, buried in there, a little white box there, actually not so little. We've got ourselves a picture of, yep, the new Predator 4400 PSI 4.2 gallons per minute gas powered pressure washer commercial duty and i know because it says so right right there yeah so you know uh harbor freight's had some real success with these predator motors for those of you who don't know i'm sorry engines <laughs> engines all right I, my old timey bear keep calling them motors anyway if i say motor i i mean gas engine it's just one of those quirks but the point is that uh, these things have been proven to be rock solid. They're, if you know, you always hear these people quibbling about, I'd never buy anything expensive at Harbor Freight or whatever. Man, I tell you, if there's any one thing you can count on, it's these Predator motors. They're they're just amazing. They're rock solid. Uh, I know people who use them in industrial applications. I know people who race them in go karts and tune them up and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, the point is, these are a solid, reliable go-to uh, motor, and they're putting them in all sorts of things now over at Harbor Freight. Uh, here we've got the uh, the Predator. Uh, they're, of course, comparing this against the Honda. I should say Simpson by Honda. Uh, 4,400 max PSI versus 4,200 claimed. The engine types, it's got 420cc versus 389. But that really comes down to the efficiency of the motor at that point. Both the triplex pumps and such. With, of course, oversized premium tires and welded steel frame construction. And we're only seeing about a $100 difference. But once that price settles and uh, we get some coupons in there, we'll probably take another uh, one or two hundred dollars off of that. All together, though, man, just a, uh, a really exciting thing to see, especially for those of you who, you know, I honestly could see this being used in a commercial application. Uh, let's take a look at some more of the pics that they gave us on it. There's a, a more close up. You got the nice handle there and it's got the little holder up top for all your different nozzle types. Uh there we can see it from the other side. It's got a, a hose holder, nice cage there to uh, around the uh, the was it the exhaust air filter, uh, so that you're not burning yourself on it. Oh, as you see, you can be used to, to pressure wash your trailer and your cars and your RV and all sorts of stuff. There's a, a better close up of the uh, the tips there. They got what do we got five of them. That's a nice little assortment. I really like these uh, quick change tips. I, I've uh, you know, that's something that's come about in the pressure washer, you know, the lower price stuff in the recent years. And man, I got to tell you, it, it's just leaps and bounds above what they used to have. Now, if when you're done pressure washing, you can pick yourself up one of these Earthquake XTs. Yeah, this is a new item too, uh, part of Earthquake's 12 volt lineup. And uh, they've got your polisher sander there. Uh, geez, Harbor Freight, come on, man. You had such a chance here to line up all your uh, different battery types and really put yourself ahead. You know, Ryobi saw the value in that and promising that they wouldn't change platforms and stuff. You could have really owned the segment. A little, a little disappointed in you. But anyway, back to the Predator stuff. As I was saying, they like to put it in about everything. Here's a, a post hole auger with Predator on it. Uh, the wood chipper. We got a, a log splitter. Uh, of course, you know, the Predator, uh, they've hooked it up with the water pumps and, and even on, on this little backhoe that they sell. And yeah, for those of you who haven't seen this, this is a Harbor Freight trailer roll backhoe thing. It's powered by a, a Predator motor. Now, the real question is, when are we going to see a Predator powered welder? Now, I, here's, here's what they're probably taking so long. They can't figure out whether to label it a Vulcan or a Predator. But you gotta, you, we gotta know at some point, guys. Come on, Harbor Freight, you're listening. We want to see one of these. Make it happen, all right? I got lots of people talking about it. We want to see that happen. Anyway, oh, sorry about that. Anyway, that's all we got here for you. Just a quick look at the new Predator uh, washer and some of the other Predator-powered stuff that you can expect to see from Harbor Freight. Uh, my guess is we're going to see a lot more Predator-powered stuff uh, over the coming year. I know Harbor Freight's rolling out a slew of new items. Oh, you have no idea how much stuff is going to be uh, hitting store shelves this year. I'm going to be a busy bear covering it all, so be sure to check back soon. You, you stay on top of all the new items here from Harbor Freight. Take care, everyone. As always, shine on.